everybody. Megan has a two for one deal for us tonight in our outdoor series. Yes, uh, we went stand up paddle boarding mm -hmm. and we also went target shooting in the Sequatchie Valley. Both are great one day activities that you can do over a weekend. Take a look. This week, Outdoor Chattanooga arranged for us to go paddle boarding on the Tennessee River with L2 boards. Many of the activities we've done in this series have required sitting through training classes, piling on safety equipment, and working my way through a learning curve. But this time, I listened to a quick explanation, was handed a life vest, and just like that, found myself climbing onto the board. It was much easier to balance on than I expected, and I'll tell you now that I didn't fall off. So don't get your hopes up. There was no tour guide, no set route. Our only restriction was the confines of the Tennessee River. The sun was hot, but the cool breeze on the water brought balance. If you're looking for a way to tan while simultaneously getting a full body workout, paddleboarding is for you. We had a great time on the river, but we hadn't planned on having so much time left over. A few calls and some spur of the moment decision making led us north to Sequatchie County to go shooting with some of the locals. Before we begin, I want to stress how important it is that you take proper safety precautions with firearms. We were lucky enough to go with experienced gunsmen to a family owned location surrounded by miles of private property, but for most people, a shooting range with trained professionals will be your safest option. My instructor, Riley, explained to me how to lock and unlock the safety, as well as how to position the gun and aim through the scope. You can, you can leave it there, you can leave it on safe until you get ready to fire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jack one in so you're alive. I was a bit anxious, but far more excited to be able to say I shot this rifle. All right, right there. Yeah. All right. See if you can look through that scope. It's gonna kick back on my. It ain't face. gonna kick much, but put it, the harder you pull it to get your shoulder, the less it'll affect you. So okay. after you shoot once, if you don't want to shoot again, take your finger off the trigger. Once is enough. Okay. All right. When you get ready, flip your safety down. Oh, now you're live. There you go. All right, finger off the trigger. All right, take your finger off the trigger. Fire again. One more time. One more time. All right, safety on. I shot for the first time an AR-15. And I'm happy to tell you that I got two on the target for the first time. I also got to test my skill with a handgun. There you go, that's a hit. I was invited to go clay shooting, invited to stay for dinner, and even invited by Riley's mother, Jewel, to come back for a cookout the next day. But our time was running out and we needed to get back to the station. I can think of no better way to show the endless possibilities for outdoor fun in Chattanooga than to go from paddleboarding the Tennessee River to shooting hay bale targets on a Sequatchie County farm. Pretty cool. Both were so much fun and next week we are going hang gliding. Were you ready for the recoil when you shot the gun or were you not expecting that? No, I was expecting it to hit me in the face. So <laughs> no. I was glad that I don't Good have nice it have on my head. <laughs> Okay, we're not going to give away any guns tonight. We do have passes for free board rentals from L2 Outside Rentals next week for the aquarium. Megan, who is our winner? Let's go to the iPad and find yes, out. Yes, we randomly picked from our random generator. Jillian Murphy says, I would love to paddleboard. So congratulations to you, Jillian. You can drop by our studios between 9 and 5 and pick them up. Sounds good. Thank you, Megan. We'll look yeah. forward to your next adventure next week, and we'll be right back. Stay with us.